Sometimes just wants to look at you. Story Face of my life. Recognition. <laughs> zippers we got bam bam now you're really popping collars <laughs> don't, don't zip your face <laughs> it is cold out there ah uh, well you know over and over again we say how much we love our customers and how much we love our team it is a cold day out here our team is pushing through it's so windy that we're all talking about how to break the wind but we're still gonna make forward progress uh, tomorrow is supposed to be a worse day, so we're not even going to work tomorrow, but it'll still be, you know, you keep watching because day two will happen when it happens. Uh, but we just love our clients. She said, go ahead and help yourself into the garage. Stay warm. Go ahead and build whatever you can inside. Take breaks, whatever. Clients in no rush. Just wants to make sure that we can help them solve some of their maintenance issues, which we're going to do with a humongous upgrade. We're going to be adding a giant wetland filter to this. We're going to add a pump. We're going to increase the flow to their biofalls with an upgraded pump. And uh, we're gonna really try and turn this around. So keep watching. I love what I get to do for a living. And what's really fun about our vlogging is that we have a record uh, of us building these. And then there's gonna be a reason for us to go back year after year after year. So we want you to hit that subscribe button. We want you to keep following us because we intend to keep showing you how these look year after year. A lot of times when you're seeing them on our channel, it's when we first finish building and the greenery hasn't really softened it yet. It looks rather masculine but we want to show it to you when it really starts looking natural. It takes about three years for that. So keep watching because this year it is going to get on our schedule to go back to some of those projects we built in the first year of us vlogging, 2019. Holy cow, that was a while ago. Thanks for joining us for 2022. Oh, there's Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> We have our configuration figured out. It's gonna be a 10 by six foot hole. And then we'll get our outsides to get to the 12 by 10 and we'll make sure it really has a cool open feel to it. So we'll bury those aqua blocks. We'll get four inches of gravel on top of that, inch gravel on the sides, and then we're gonna pump water up through that. And that'll be our fix. a really cold and windy day i don't know how much you'll even be able to hear on the camera i'm trying to talk loud which i have no problem doing anyway uh we got the hole dug and we got ourselves prepped we're gonna leave ourselves some gravel in the front and then we'll come back with some more material on uh the next day we decide to work i'm not sure it's gonna be really cold and windy so we're not doing it tomorrow but we'll be back before you know it all right everyone we'll be back before you know it keep watching start of day two Yes. How many layers do you think you got on? Not that many. No? How about you? You got a lot of zippers on again? I only got four. All right, so we're taking advantage of them letting us use their, their nice shop here, and uh, we are doing the stuff we can indoors. So right now, we are going to measure this out and go outside, and we'll show you how windy and cold it is out there. Justin came bearing gifts for the guys, new sweatshirts. They're not going to even put on, it looks like. 
That's because I already I already have the sweatshirt on. Like I already it's alright. It's, it's a nice sweatshirt. It's a car car. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice sweatshirt. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. oh, it looks nice. <laughs> they're, they're not even putting on their sweatshirts. I think I've been on camera yet this season. Hey, Justin! Nice to see you. You too. I'm going to get the stuff out of my truck here. We got more of those. <laughs> So right now we're gonna be doing everything we can indoors because it's nice and warm in here. Man, it feels like winter, but team's awesome. We're pushing through. We're gonna set up our plumbing and our pumps onto our intake bay right now. So we've got an extension on our pump housing vault, which means we have to custom plumb our check valves. And we'll kind of run through that real quick. All right, so now we have custom plumbing. So our male fitting goes into our plumbing into our pump excuse me and then we have a plumbing fitting we'll put between these two all right one of the things that we always try to tell people now is that these top off valves come to you shipped upside down because it's the only way it'll fix them fit in the box so if you go and put it in right now and you think you're putting it in like this this would be this would be upside down because when it floats come on focus it's got justin <laughs> camera just wants to look at you Story <laughs> that is upside down right now so when it ships to you the only way it can fit in the box is if it comes upside down so you just unscrew this little wing nut right there and then let it go the right way the end of day two super cold out but man we pushed for it awesome attitudes aiden said it wasn't so bad and i said you know it would have been if everyone was complaining and whining the whole day so attitudes do matter thank you guys awesome attitude today well, thank you. <laughs> we did it we got a full day's work in now i'm cold i'm breathing hard because i'm so cold and uh, we're gonna call it a day. We'll show you what we did tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, it's the start of day three. It is finally a nice day here in Minnesota. It's been an unusual spring, but man, I am so proud of the team. They have just pushed forward, pushed forward, pushed forward, and I'm excited. So today we've got a real big group here today. We got six guys ready to work, myself being one of them. We got Justin, my business partner, the wizard. He's ready to attack. We've got the stress mitigator, Dave. We've got Brad, the handyman. We've got Aiden. And we got another guy, Morgan, from River Valley Aquascapes, who you're gonna get to meet soon. He's down in uh, the Chaska area, Carver area, and uh, reached out to us and said, hey, can I help just so I can learn? And we said, absolutely, come by, and we'll teach you what we know. And this is a good project to learn on because we're adding a wetland filter to an existing pond. We're also adding an intake bay. So we're retrofitting an intake bay, and we're gonna take out a skimmer, and we're gonna replace it with an intake bay. So I'm pumped. Things are going well. We finally have a nice day. It's sunshiny. There's just a small breeze. All right, everyone, stay tuned. We're gonna actually get some good footage for you today. All right, bye bye. All right, Morgan, we're gonna have to do an actual introduction on the camera here soon, but hopped right into it. I appreciate it. Doing it with care, it's really cool. It's one of the things I love about Aquascape is this over and over, it's bringing again, together people that actually care about what they're doing, which is really the thing that it takes to, to do water features. Make sure we don't hurt the fish. All right, so see how they're taking the fish out. Dave's coming from underneath them, going slowly after them. We're not really trying to induce much panic. See how they're Brad's supporting the fish from underneath, making sure that we don't break their backs when you lift them up. You can't smell it right now. 
but that's some good old decaying material we smell right here. Look how nasty that water is. off the skimmer faceplate here. I'm just gonna unscrew it and we're gonna try and do as little damage to this liner as we can. There's already a good hole cut in it, but we're just gonna take it off slowly and uh, get this in a good spot. Then we're gonna pressure wash everything again, take this skimmer out after we drain it. Right now the guys are working on connecting the old three inch to the new three inch line where we're gonna have it come in to the side of the intake bay. And we're gonna have a two inch line that goes out the other side for a two to five. So right now Morgan's working on taking apart the wall for us where we're gonna be bringing our wetland in. So we wanna make sure we have a nice proper overlap there. Dave's working on flushing the gravel. We got that nice and flushed and knocked everything to the deep spot. So now what we're gonna do is drain out the pond and keep pressure washing our way down and uh, try and get Dave to go to another cleaning here today. And really, we're gonna be in a good spot. So a lot of things we're doing on that is overlapping. We don't have to worry too much about seams because we have a good uh, six inch height change between the water line and the dirt. So we don't have to worry about water backing up into that. Uh, and we got plenty of overlap to come into the pond. This is where it gets a little technical, retrofitting the intake bay on to the new, uh, onto the old system. So. Uh, we'll be walking through that as we go. This is a kind of an advanced build to retrofit this, but um, we're pretty excited because we're going to be able to do this for a lot of people's ponds as they go. You know, I'd really like to add a waterfall, or I'd like to add an urn, or I'd like to add a little splash pad. Whatever they want to add, we'll be able to say, well, we can take out your skimmer and we can do an intake bay and we can get a couple more pumps in there for you while we're doing this. So I'm excited. Yeah, we're expanding our services right now. Really fun. So Morgan and I are reworking the pond here, trying to make it not feel as rocky. Morgan, can you introduce yourself, please? Morgan Jacobs. I'm a owner creator of River Valley Aquascapes, another Minnesota pond and waterfall company. www.rivervalleyaquascapes.com. I'm excited to be here at the Pond King today. I've been watching him for a while. I think we both have the same vision for ponds, so it is fun to be working side by side. <laughs> it's long overdue. Well, thank you, thank you. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> You've got a good eye. It's gonna be fun to keep working together here. Alright, so now Justin and Morgan have been working the gravel up out of the bottom onto the ledges. Once we do that, we like to rinse it down one more time because it is pretty dirty. And you can see we're just trying to flush all this stuff out. And then we're working some of the boulders in here to make it feel like a nice congruent look. They did a lot of good things. So the, the pond is in good shape. Just needed a real good cleaning and some uh, TLC. So we'll have it in a better spot here before you know it. And then Brad and Aiden are working on the seam right now, the seam area. A lot of prep goes into this. I really appreciate how much attention to detail they're paying right now really prepping this line and really cleaning it so that it has a good stick even though we said this is our first time retrofitting we still want to have a lot of success with this so we don't want to come back trying to deal with any kind of problems and i love it these guys care about what they're doing it's awesome that's gonna do it for the end of day three what an awesome day we got the whole pond cleaned we reworked the rock in there we got all these edges reworked intake bay in 
A lot of gravel. It's not all the way done yet, but the intake bay is in a really good spot. The wetland filter got a lot of stuff added to it. And man, we had a really good day. So a lot of progress was made. We reworked some of the waterfall up there. We're gonna do the rest of that another day because it was all about getting us ready to get the fish in and the pond filling. Um, so that was kind of the undertaking as we had to do this in a colder day, colder weather, because as soon as we take those fish out, the time starts ticking. And uh, we wanted to make sure we could get those fish back in this pond by the end of the day here. So mission accomplished. Spring here in Minnesota, but we're still uh, kind of starting this season off the way we ended last season. Lots of layers, heat gun, doing what we can to just keep moving. Got an awesome team. Who's that? That's the Paint King. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> Haven't seen him in a while because he's too busy painting. Today was all about spending time on the details. So tomorrow we gotta come in and do some of the design work, have a lot of fun, and uh, try and button this up. We'll be back tomorrow, and uh, just gonna keep making forward progress. Cool thing is, we can leave the pond on its final filling. So when we leave today, we don't have to worry about draining it again. Awesome. All right, everyone, we'll see you tomorrow. I love my job. Water features are fun. Owatonna, Minnesota. Good night. Awesome, check this out. I said, Mark, you mind taking on the lights for me and hiding the cords? Can you see where the cord is? Because I can't. So he's had to lift up a lot of block and rock and stuff to get these hidden, but man, it's looking fantastic. So Mark's getting our lights placed in the stream. We're gonna bring this area to life with the, the lights at night. Uh, we're gonna have some lights pointing down and glowing the stream so when you're walking over the bridge, it, it really makes the bridge highlight because it'll be a shadow at night because the lights are going each side of it. We're gonna light up that corner of the house so that's gonna come to life. So not only are we gonna bring it to life with sound, we're gonna bring it to life with the lights at night too. So I'm pumped about that. You guys ready? Project number two adding on a, to an existing pond to help turn it around. We added a wetland filter, an intake bay, we reworked the stream and we did a full cleaning. You ready to check it out? All right, let's check this out. Check this out.
sponsored by pond king water gardens living works of art one yard at a time